Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to uh, draft uh, isometric drawings in AutoCAD 2D. Okay, so these are the drawings which we are going to draft in AutoCAD 2D. So these are the isometric projections. These, uh, I think you have know right. So, so the, how to create this in AutoCAD 2D? So first what we have to do, we need to open AutoCAD. So here we need to draft, right? So watch the video till the end and do subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos and click on the bell icon for notifications, okay? So first what we have to do, here we need to check. So our drawing is in MM, right? So mm or centimeters we need to fix unit setup. Okay, first go to AutoCAD and here we need to select unit setup. Shortcut is UN Enter. So here I am selecting a type decimal precision 0.00, and in insertion scale I am selecting millimeters. If you want you can go with if you have uh, in a centimeters. So you can go with centimeter also. So present I am going millimeters and click on OK. Now our unit setup has been finished. Now what we have to do. So this is a normal cursor. So what is the difference between isometric and 3D means? Uh, we will draft in top view itself. Okay. So here you can observe. So we will draft in top view itself but it looks like in 3D. So that is what isometric. In this we have uh, one point, two point and three point. So see here you can observe we have three points. So this is my first point and this is my second X, Y and Z. Okay. So in back side so we cannot uh, view that one. Okay. So, so this is what isometric drawings right. So uh, we call it as uh, isometric or perspective drawings also okay so first what we have to do means we need to change the cursor to change the cursor shortcut is snap style snap style so here it is okay click on this and you need to enter the value from 0 to 1 okay now your screen has been changed right so the drawing area has been changed right here we can observe the cube so it is in top view so here we need not to change so here we need to draft the isometric drawing first what we have to do so we'll go with standard drawing first we'll create a cube okay so to create the cube uh, I will go with draw in draw tools first one line so I'll enter click on the line and here we can on the ortho mode shortcut is F8 okay so so I can zoom in I will select 50 so I will get into the middle so I'm entering 50 so 50 means here 50 mm so and top also 50 mm the cursor should be on top 50 enter and I'm again I'm going to back so here also measure means 50 and down either you can go with uh, 50 enter or directly we can close the command so like this C enter to close shortcut is close the C enter now see here so it looks like uh, here now what we have done so one point one perspective has been created right now I want to start the drawing in this direction so in x direction i need to start so again what i have to do l enter so i need to start with here and see here uh, the line is going on in y direction itself right now i want in in this direction so what i have to do i need to change the cursor direction so for that we need to use function key f5 okay like this so here in command panel you can observe so it has been changed okay so isoplane top again if I select F5 what will happen isoplane right so 
like this we can change our cursor for left right top bottom okay so now again here i need to enter 50 enter and again see here it's going uh, x and y i need in y uh, z direction so what i have to do again f5 so again if i select on f5 so my cursor has been changed so again you need to enter 50 enter and again here i need to close okay so again so here so again l enter now same so l enter enter the value 50 and see here again click on f5 to change the cursor function key f5 and I type 50 enter and enter okay so I will off the grid system so here you can observe so this is the isometric a standard drawing cube so of the dimension 50 mm so like this we can create our drawings uh, so we need to draft so one more drawing we will see so what drawing we have seen now so this part we have seen right so I will tell you how to create this circle also ok so first we will complete uh, one more drawing so for that uh, now we will create staircase ok staircase L enter click on so here we can uh, for reference we can take one drawing so in this you can observe see from here to so this is the first point either we can start here or here ok so uh, from here to here it is 20 20 20 is 60 and height is 45 and width is 45 right total width so this dimension we can create now so first 60 we need to type 60 enter and again height 45 sorry one second I'll enter so 60 enter and again 45 enter sorry so we need to come with starting so control Z control Z so from here to we'll start so first height is 45 45 enter and again so it's width is 20 20 enter again down so with next height value is 15 so 15 enter again change the cursor direction and again it's 20 so repeat the method 20 enter and down 15 enter again 20 enter and down 15 enter so here either we can directly enter the value 60 enter and enter so what we did so once i open the drawing see this part we have created right so 45 and from here to here is 20 and from here to here is 15 same now this part we have created right now what we have to do we need to create this part ok either if you are seeing the point from here so this is will be front view ok now this one so from 45 and height will be same 45 and this length will be 15 and again uh, 30 and again 35 ok so this we need to draft now so for that L enter click on the end point change the cursor so again 45 enter and height so once 
same 45 enter and here 15 enter and down 30 enter and directly you can click on this okay so this part has been finished right now we need to close the top view so we just check the top view so this is 45 and this is 60 right so we need to draft that so l enter so from here to it is 45 enter and see again we need to change the direction so for that function key f5 60 enter and enter so again uh, from here to here l enter click on the point this and f5 so this is for uh, we need to minus so i will enter 30 and sorry 35 it is and we need to oh sorry we need to go with 30 enter and just click on this okay so this part we have finished and one more part one more so again here what we have to do we need to uh, get a razor and thread like this okay so this part so this value is 20 and again 20 so uh, this one 20 and 15 20 okay so this one we need to draft now so for that uh, I will take 30 itself because here we have taken uh, 15 right so this value will be changing for 30 we'll see how to draft that so line L enter from this point to 30 enter and again enter Click, repeat the method for this and 30 enter enter and this corner 30 enter and enter so from here to this corner to we need to go with down okay so here i need to enter the value 15 enter again fy again 20 enter again down 15 enter again last corner click on this or you can type 20 mm enter and enter so like this so this is what we have drafted in autocad 2d okay so i think now you understand right so how to create the isometric drawings right so now we'll draft the one more drawing so you can understand so this one so this one we can draft okay so this either for civil or mechanical they can use both uh, isometric drawings uh, method will be same and tools also will be same okay so so now we'll create this i think this is in 2.4 so here we can change the value as 20 10 and 15 okay so this is all in centimeters so i will convert into mm so and again i will draft so first we need to start with this corner point okay for this the value is given here so it's 1.0 we can take it as 10 10 and total from here to here we need to add the length so for that so 10 10 plus 20 30 30 plus 20 40 sorry 20 50 50 is the value of this length okay so now we'll draft in autocad so open the autocad so i will just move this drawing to one point so I'm offing, I'm off, I will just, okay. Now I will start here. So L enter, click on the, click on any one point 
and click on and on the ortho mode f8 so from so from here to we need to draft right so total is 50 so enter the value 50 enter and again height so height will be i think 10 so i think 10 so enter the value 10 enter again from here to here 20 enter and here we need to go with down so this part so i will enter the value for 5 okay 5 here it is so it is 0 0.5 i am converting into uh, mm and i will change take it as the value 5 so 5 enter again 20 enter and top 5 enter and at last remaining value 10 enter and i can close the drawing so now this part has been created right now again what we have to do so we need to draft in this direction now in x direction so this value is given here so enter take the value as 30 so click on l enter and change the direction for f5 and enter the value 30 and height so again click on f5 so same value 10 enter so 30 enter and close okay so this part we need we have created so again from here to here we need to draft so same value from here to here okay so uh, repeat the method so l enter click on this end point and enter the value 30 and click on select f5 so value will be 10 enter and again need to go down 5 enter again 20 enter and again up 5 enter and close the command so i think we know we have created the border so so this part we have done now we need to join this okay so to join that same l enter click on the point so the end point this corner end point and change the direction and this point you can enter the value or you can just go with end to end points it's not an issue so enter 30 enter enter okay again repeat the method so from this corner point to the this corner point so once we'll check it out so here we need to trim the trim the remaining portions okay so either uh, we don't want this or we can go with dotted lines so if you if you need we can go with dotted lines or we can just trim trim for trim shortcut will be tr double enter okay so this is what isometric drawings in autocad 2d so here you need to now uh, you need to draft in a circle right so for here and again so for this cube you need to enter the circles so that i will show you now how to create in autocad so for that we need to go with ellipse and again we need to so to create uh, to draw the circle here here we need to we should not select the drawing uh, here in draw tools we have circle right so this circle we should not select so for isometric drawings we need to select isometric circle itself okay so that will will get in only in ellipse okay so that tool we can call it as iso circle okay first what i will do i will mark uh, sorry i will pick the midpoint so this corner point to the this corner point uh, mid, mid to mid value and this mid value to get an 
accurate so this midpoint to the this midpoint so in this I need to create a circle okay so this is what so this one circle okay so so already we have 20 so we'll go go with radius 5 or 10 so we'll draft it now we can go to so click on uh, select ellipse option so shortcut is el enter and here you can go with i enter i for iso circle enter so iso circle enter and see here it is asking specify center of iso circle now i will select the midpoint and here we can draft okay so i will take radius as 5 then the diameter will be 10 so so delete this okay so like this we can draft a circle in a autocad 3d so repeat the method in first in this drawing also okay so first what we have to do same isometric enter before that we'll just uh, create one midpoint so for reference so from this corner to this corner and from this corner to this corner okay so for our reference mid to mid values same uh, ellipse el enter after that i enter iso and click on the midpoint and enter the radius so here i will select a radius value 15 15 enter okay so we can delete this now again see like this we can create the isometric circle same for this and this okay so i will show you so line l enter so this corner point to the this midpoint and this midpoint to the so change the cursor for f5 same repeat the method for this to this okay and click on sorry ellipse el enter again isometric iso circle enter click on this and here you need to enter 15 enter same repeat the method so iso i enter and value will be 15 enter sorry we need to select the so i will delete this part so again repeat select the ellipse option and i enter for iso circle and click on the midpoint sorry the point is not selecting So here uh, what we did mistake means we did not change the cursor direction. So it's getting in a perspective. So I will change once again. So ellipse EL enter. I enter for ISO. So see here I need to change the cursor for this plane. Okay. So I will change uh, by using function key F5 and click on the center. So see here again the enter the value radius 15 enter and close delete okay so this is what we did so these are the drawings which we have seen in this session okay so I will just move so M enter so click on off the effect so these are the drawings so to uh, here we have an, another drawing so this I think this is simple so you can practice so so this you can practice so this part okay 
so so this one so this is 50 and this is 10 and the radius is 15 okay here same method you can follow and you can trim the extra portion that's it okay so and also we can create this in AutoCAD 3D also so that I will tell you in coming next sessions so how to create in this 3D okay so if you like the video and do subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching